Hi, I'm David, and I'm naming my new channel N2K Technology for discovering things we need to know. Our planet is in demand of more protein and more sustainable agriculture. Let's explore whether the black soldier fly can support this demand through mass production. The concept which defines mass production is process control. It allows us to deliver consistency when we produce things and subsequent upscaling and optimization. Automobiles and factory-built things were the first applications for process control. Non-living objects have fewer variables and thus became the early adopters of process control strategies compared to farming, which has still not reached the same level of maturity. Massive advancements have been made in farm automation, but we still don't control the weather and we don't control genetics, although we are trying. We are only beginning to reach the age of fully automated farming. Perhaps the first truly process controlled farm was made in 2018. Only in the last decade did this challenge start to look obtainable. For the first time, all of the system inputs are under digital control. The only product more complex than a plant is an animal. Regulating an animal's biological functions and behaviors is immensely harder than a production line of aircraft or motor vehicles. Why do you think the grocery store has just one kind of bird and a thousand products manufactured from that bird? The state of the art for production is that we can't control anything until it's dead. The pathway to automating and upscaling of insect production, as well as prawn, salmon, and other organisms which were not farmed in the early 1900s, requires that we forge a linkage between the biology and modern automation. The biology is already being studied relentlessly thanks to sustainability directives around the world. The link to process control is instrumentation. Instruments indicate the condition of the process and the process knowledge is the only way to process control. Gaining process control in an insect farm is not similar to adding automation to a chicken farm. Hundreds of years of trial and error led to an art of chicken farming, a cluster of semi-standard methods that allowed poultry producers to become economically viable at scale with rudimentary tools. In other words, a chicken farm doesn't need digital monitoring to be successful. Process control was established over time. One mistaken way to look at the situation is that instrumentation is an ingredient to sprinkle on top of a business plan and enhance productivity. Instrumentation is the precursor to proper research execution and it's a precursor to having knowledge of ongoing functions in a production system. This is a huge hurdle for BSF production because the supplier ecosystem doesn't exist yet. Even if production ramps up smoothly, how can a producer decide on corrective action if their product falls out of compliance for health and safety? Since BSF never saw mass production, there must be an early strategy for instrumenting it. The required effort for measuring biological metrics is high. Ask yourself why NASA and USDA supported decades of hydroponics research for a few select vegetable species before you ever saw a greenhouse grown tomato in your grocery store. This research is public knowledge. It fed the development of instruments. From the instruments, standards were made, and from the standards, the first indoor farms became financially viable. There is a minefield of problems in relying on generic automation companies to plug sensors into a biological production facility and promise a profound knowledge in the process. Did you know that the instrument for measuring a fever is more similar to those we use for measuring the temperature of a star than it is to the thermometer in a refrigerator? Non-specialized companies will gladly offer the wrong solution if it's what they have in stock. To approach a living organism, each measurement must combine the physics at play, the nuances of the sensor, and the application knowledge from the biologist. Entomology research shows evidence that BSF mass production is ready to be pursued. But just like other young biotech, the path to gain process control has not been paved. Intensive efforts are needed in measuring the life cycle, its inputs, and its byproducts. Even peer-reviewed research articles need revisiting because of unrefined measurements. I hope to offer more videos and dive into technical details on the engineering and instrumentation in larvae farming and other biotech. 
Collaboration is key to accelerating technology for a healthy planet, so leave a comment and join the talk.